Hi dear friends, welcome to the channel AKY Biotech. So today here again we are with a new video for you. We'll be discussing the questions which have been repeatedly put down in the examination and they're very important from the examination point of view. And uh, your examination is also fast approaching. Hardly a few days are left and I uh, think that uh, you all are benefited from all these videos. They are very helpful for you uh, from the examination point of view. And uh, if uh, today uh, we'll be completing the part 15 of the video and near about 500 questions have already been completed. If you haven't watched the previous videos, kindly find the link in the description box and please uh, go to all the videos and take a quick revision of all the units. Uh, these videos, they cover the question from all the topics. And uh, I would like to say that please subscribe the channel so that you can get all the latest updates and like and share the video. Now here comes a question which was asked in the previous video. It uh, was like this. Which one of the following covalent linkage it exists between 7 methyl guanosine and the mRNAs? So which is the covalent linkage that exists between the 7 methyl guanosine and the mRNAs? The correct answer to this is that is 5 prime to 5 prime triphosphate. So Many have attempted and they have answered it correctly. Uh, the following are the names. Usha Khandil, Sakshi Tomar, Praveena, Meera Mishra, Pooja Khatare, Braining Kids Points, Neelam K and Kamal Thakur. So that's the good thing that uh, you people are taking equal interest in all the videos and you are answering the questions. So like this, you can revise your topics uh, many of the times. So here comes the explanation for it. In eukaryotes, the 5' prime cap found on the 5' prime end of an mRNA molecule. So the 5' prime cap, it is found on the 5' prime end of the mRNA molecule. It consists of guanine nucleotide connected to mRNA via an unusual so this is connected, uh, this is unusual because it's only in this case that is the 5' prime to 5' prime triphosphate linkage. This guanosine is methylated on the 7th position directly after capping in vivo by methyl transferase. It is referred to as the 7 methyl guanolate cap. Every, uh, so this is abbreviated as M. 7G. So here comes the next question for you. That is the uh, next question. That is the 496. Termination of mRNA transcription in Saccharomyces cerevisiae is mediated by. How this termination of the mRNA in Saccharomyces cerevisiae? This is mediated by. The correct answer to this is that is by the polyadenylation signal. Coming up with the next, which one of the following blast search programs is used to identify homologues of a genomic DNA query? So, which blast search programs is used to identify the homologues of a genomic DNA query in a protein sequence database? So, for this uh, comparison, we know that uh, which one is in use, that is the blast X. Here comes the next question. Which one of the following metabolic processes in mammalian cells does not occur in the mitochondria? So, which metabolic processes does not take place in the mitochondria? That is the glycolysis. Next, which one of the following statements is true for actin? You have to pick up the correct statements for actin. So, the correct is actin filament is structurally polarized and the two ends are not identical. So, A part is the correct option itself. This one is the correct option itself. 500. Which one of the following techniques is used to monitor RNA transcripts both tempor temporally and spatially? So, which technique is used to monitor the RNA transcripts? That is in C2 hybridization. This is the technique which is used. 
Here comes the next question that is 501. Which one of the following plant secondary metabolites is a natural insect insecticide? So which is the natural insecticide? That is, you have the four options. Digitoxin, no. Pyrethrin. Yes, this one is the nat uh, natural insecticide. And it is a plant secondary metabolite. Next, 502. Which one of the following amino acids is catalyzed by activated macrophages to produce reactive nitrogen species? So, which one of the following amino acids is catalyzed? The correct answer is the arginine. Here comes the next question that is 503. You have to match the classes of the RNA molecules in group 1, uh, in group this with their functions in group 2. So, you have these uh, four classes of the RNA molecules, small nucleolar RNA, PIRNA, MIRNA and the SNRNA. So, the correct option is D part, that is SN, small nucleolar RNA, that is in the modification and the processing of RRNA, PIRNA, it's for protects germlines from transposable elements, miRNA, that is, it blocks translation of selected mRNA, and the last one, that is, snRNA, it is in the splicing of the RNA transcripts. Next question, 5 prime capping of mRNA transcripts in nucleotides involves the following events. So, what does it involve? The correct option is this one, that is C part. How the events they take place? First is the removal of the gamma phosphate of the triphosphate on the first base at the 5' end. Then addition of GMP on the 5' end. Then comes the 5' to 5' linkage between the GMP and the first base at the 5' end. Then the last one what takes place is that addition of methyl group to the N7 position of guanine. So the correct sequence it is like the correct sequence of events it is C option. Five zero five bacteria with two or more flagella at one or both ends. What does what is uh, these type of bacteria called as? They are known as the Lophotrichus. 506. Which family of viruses has single stranded DNA? You have to pick up which family has the single stranded DNA. And the correct option is this one. That is the Parvoviridae. So, out of this, uh, this box viridae and uh, this one has the single stranded DNA and this box viridae and uh, this uh, herpes viridae, what does it has? It has the double stranded DNA, these two and uh, the retro viridae, it has the single stranded RNA. So, single stranded DNA, it is in this case, that is the parvo. Viridae, these two A and B part that is the herpes viridae and the pox viridae, these two have the double stranded DNA and the retro viridae that is the single stranded RNA. 507. What will be the binding status of regulatory proteins in lac operon when concentrations of both lactose and glucose they are very low in the culture medium. So, what will be the status in that case? Only the repressor remains bound to the operator. No, only the cyclic AMP, CAMP cap complex remains bound to the cap binding site. No, uh, yes, this one is the correct option that is the D part. Both the repressor and CAMP cap complex. 
See AMP, CAP complex remains bound to their respective binding sites. 508. Which one of the following is not a therapeutic agent based on nucleic acid for treatment of genetic disorders? So, which is the not a therapeutic agent? That is the correct option is evident. Rest all they are the therapeutic agents. Therapeutic agents that is the antisense oligonucleotide ribosomes and the aptamer. Next, ATP biosynthesis it takes place utilizing the proton gradient in mitochondria and the chloroplast. Identify the correct sites of the proton gradient formation. So you have to pick up the correct options for this. The correct option is. This product gradient, it forms across the inner membrane of the mitochondria and across the thylakoid membrane of the chloroplast. This one is the correct one. Then coming up with the last question, here comes it. Which of the following events occur during the stationary phase of bacterial growth? So, which events it take place during the stationary phase? It is like this, rise in cell number stops. This is correct. Spore formation in some gram-positive bacteria such as Bacillus subtilis. This is also correct. Cell size increases in some gram-negative bacteria such as Escherichia coli. No. Growth rate of bacterial cells nearly equals to their death rate. So, PQR, PQ and S. This one is the correct option. A part. So, today also there is a question for you. Disaccharide molecules that contain this, that is the beta 1 for glycosidic linkage are, what is the correct one? Disaccharide molecules, sucrose and maltose, sucrose and isomaltose, maltose and isomaltose or the lactose and the cellobiose. So, kindly pick up the correct option and answer us in the comment box. Next video, we will discuss this question. Dear friends, thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe the channel so that you can get all the latest updates. Hardly a few days are left in your next competitive examination that is the ICNH and please like and share the video.